Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tori and today I am going to be going through all of my leftover supplies from my October dailies from the last couple of years as well as some of the newer things that I have purchased which is not a lot because I have limited myself to this little bin this is like a 12 by 12 scrapbooking bin um, and I generally try not to overfill it essentially like this is my limited space for October daily supplies so technically I'm pretty sure I could fit all of these new supplies in here so I'm still good but I really want to try and get through a lot of this this year so we're going to go through here see if maybe there's anything that I want to get rid of and also kind of see what I've got I do have some new stuff here some of which I personally created, some of which I have purchased. So first thing, uh, this is not necessarily October Daily related, but it's so cute and I love the little potions. So I did get these from Etsy. I think they came from Australia, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, but they're so cute. They're like little, they're little potion bottle stamps. And I thought this would be perfect to use in my October daily. I will link these down below. I did some test stamping with them when I got them and I love them. So I've got this for this year, but this is not technically an October daily supply. So at the end of the season, it will not go in this box. I also have this, which is not October daily specific but I'm thinking I'm going to want to use that this year these are like super super tiny dies I don't even know if you'll be able to see them um, but I thought this would be really cool for adding some embellishments some word embellishments like look how tiny those are uh, to some of my layouts and I got these ones from scrapbook.com also from scrapbook.com are these little cats and these were a freebie so I didn't even pay for these um they're super cute I love them and I'm a big cat fan I love kitties so I hope I will be able to use these this year as well <clears throat> side note I love that the Sizzix thin cuts come in this little envelope so I don't have to worry about how I'm storing them I've got two stamp sets here from Heba from my little journal the website is Heba Alcibi Creates. She created a Boo stamp set this year, which, let's see, a uh, nice little Boo stamp set, which is so cute. I love this. And then a nice Alpha stamp set, which I'm loving. So I will definitely be using both of these this year. And then we have the items that I have personally created. All of these specific items will be released this Friday, September 20th. So if you wanna get your hands on them as well, um, I will have my Etsy shop link down below. I've got some story number stickers, uh, a set of die cut spooky frames and windows, and I will have a video on Friday that kind of pulls everything out and goes into each and every one of them if you want a closer look. And then this is the stamp set that I created for October Daily. It is called October Days. Uh, and there's some kind of prompt words, Halloween, and just some really cute little designs. This is also the same story box. And then the numbers on this stamp set should fit inside this box if you wanted to create your own story numbers and not use stickers. So that will be available on Friday. And then this is the typewriter complete. Also not necessarily super October specific, but this is my favorite alpha right now. So I turned it into a full stamp set. This will be available on Friday as well if you wanted to get your hands on it and it should fit. Uh, like I said, in this story numbers and then the lowercase 
stamp would fit into this speech bubble as well. So those are the things that I created. Some things that I don't actually keep in this bin are going to be my Halloween washi tapes. I just keep these with my washies. Um, so I've got all of these. I'm not going to pull each and every one of them out because I don't want to. <laughs> but um, these are all of the Halloween themed washi tapes that I have. I'm just going to keep them in this little bin. I might set up a October daily kind of like craft cart to put all of my October daily stuff in. I haven't yet decided on that. But these are my washies. I also have this Rusty Hinge Distress Distress spray stain. I don't keep this in here either because I use this throughout the year. Uh, it's like a really deep orange color um, and I don't even use the spray nozzle. I just open it and kind of flick it like this um, on my projects to add a little bit of splatter. And now we will open up my little bin here and kind of get into my supplies that I have left over from last year. So I have this is not super organized. I kind of just threw a bunch of stuff in here. <laughs> um, I've got a lot of things though, most of which are stamp sets. So I'm gonna pull all of those out first. The stamp sets and then the stamps and die sets. And the stencils. I'm gonna pull out the reusable stuff essentially. So these are all stamps, dies, and then stencils. So I will do the stencils first. I have this bat stencil that I got from scrapbook.com last year. This was super fun. And then this one, which you probably won't be able to see super well, um, is like a little ghost stencil that I made using acetate on my Cricut. If you can see like the glare on that. Um, you can see like little ghosts and moons and stuff. Uh, I made this using acetate on my Cricut two years ago for my first October daily and I loved the way that this one came out too. I kind of want to do this again but I want to see if I can find some thicker material like this that my Cricut can cut through because I think it's super fun to create your own stencils. If you have any recommendations for a material that's like this that the Cricut Maker can cut through. Please leave them down in the comments below um, so I can check them out. And then I've got two stamp sets from Close to My Heart. This is the Boo Crew stamp set and it does have the coordinating dies. And then this one is the Autumn Vibes. This is not necessarily Halloween related, but it definitely matches all the fall vibes. So I've got those two. Close to my heart is no longer in business though, so these will not be linkable. Probably most of this stuff won't be linkable, um, but I am going to be trying to use primarily the stuff that I already have this year. And then I've just got lots of Halloween stamps. These are all like Halloween specific um, stamps. This one I believe released last year from Studio Calico. Unfortunately, they don't have names on their stamp set, so I don't know what the names are of this. This one was from two years ago, two Halloweens ago. I have no idea when this one released because I bought this on one of their 50% off sales, but this is also from Studio Caligo. This is the Snacks and Spirits from Everyday Explorers. So I know she does bring back some of her old stamps, so this might be back this year. <clears throat> this one is super cute. I love this little ghost. This one is the Hocus Pocus from Paper Person Shop. I don't know if Paper Person Shop is back in, is in business anymore, um, but I haven't seen any activity from them in a while. Uh, so I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. So I don't know if this one would be back. And then I just have tucked into the back of this, the kind of autumn and Halloween like phrases from Allie Edwards. This was the Halloween stamp. I think this might have been from either last year or two years ago. I'm not even sure. Uh, but this is from Allie Edwards. And then on the back of that, I have 
a stamp set from the Paper Person Shop. This was released last year. Once again, I don't know if they are even in business anymore, so I don't know if this will be available. This is the Fall and Winter Prompts uh, from Everyday Explorers. This m will probably be available. Um, whatever I can find, I will link for you, um, or I'll link the websites to the company so you can go check it out. Um, and see if you can find these stamp sets. This is from Studio Calico. This was from last year from their kit. And then this one is the Strange and Unusual from Everyday Explorers. Um, this one I think was a throwback stamp, but I'm not 100% sure. So those are the just plain stamp sets that I have. I also have two stamp sets that have two other stamp sets that come with coordinating dies or that I purchased the coordinating dies for. I have the Playful Pumpkins from Concord and Ninth. Super cute. And then I have the Happy Halloween stamp set from the Stamp Market. And like I said, I got the coordinating dies for these ones as well. So these are super fun to use, especially for making Halloween cards. Let me know down below if you'd like to see some Halloween card videos. And then these ones are just dies. So I've got the Echo Park Spooky Bat Dies. I purchased these ones, I think in 2021, because I used them in my reading journal for 2021. I have the Haunted House Cutting Dies from Spellbinders. It's very small, super cute though. I love this. And then this is, I think this is from the Stamp Market. Uh, it's just like a little cauldron die uh, and it's meant to be a shaker die. Uh, and these are like little bubbles and stuff. They didn't, their particular stamp sets and stuff don't come with like any example images. So I wasn't able to put one on there. And then I have the Boolicious Fall Cupcakes from Spellbinders. This was the Kit Club for September of 2023. Uh, so cute. I loved making these little spooky cupcakes last year. So I will definitely, if I do any fall baking, I think I will try and do this again this year. So let's move all of this out of the way. I've also got some sequence mixes. These are all from the Target dollar spot last year. So little cats and bats. This was from sequence from the Dollar Tree. I think that the colors are super fallish uh, and could be used really well in an October daily. So I just stuck them in here. This was a sequence mix that I actually made. It's got some of the cats and other things in it. I honestly could not tell you what's in here though, but this is just one that I made myself. And then I also don't remember where this one's from, but it's got little moons and candy corns in it. So super Halloween-ish as well. I'm gonna pull these out. I also just have some orange gauze grain ribbon that I use for tags and stuff. I have the packaging left over from both of the Allie Edwards kits that I purchased because I love this. I love this packaging so much and I really wanna use it in an album. So hopefully this year is the year that I actually do that. All of this stuff left in here, I believe is just paper. This is just black paper, black 12 by 12 paper. So I'm gonna leave that in there. I've got still some paper left over from the Boo Crew that I purchased from Close to My Heart, which like I said earlier, is no longer in business but I think I also have a few other pieces of 12 by 12 paper in here as well. So this is the sticker sheet. This is a printable that I printed on clear sticker paper. So I kept that, I didn't use it. This was part of the sticker sheet. And then I've got 
three of the pattern papers left over. So these are double sided and I really like these. So I will definitely make an attempt to use it. I'm going to make an attempt to use everything, but who knows? So there's those papers. I also have a variety of sized papers as well. So these ones in the back are all from Allie Edwards kits. This is from the Studio Calico kit last year because these are true six by eight. These are seven by eight and a quarter. And then these were from the paper person, paper person shop kit. So I'll just kind of flip through these really quick. I used quite a few of these ones last year, but I didn't get through all of them. This is just a piece of plain black cardstock. These ghosts are so cute. Again, super cute ghosts. Ah! These two are full cut aparts. And then that one with candy, super cute. And then the Allie Edwards ones. This is just a piece of Archer and Olive dot grid paper that I had pulled out to use for something. I had cut it off and I thought it would be good to keep with my October daily stuff. So these are all one-sided. So we've got ghosties. <clears throat> this is vellum. These papers are a mixture between the past two years kits that Allie Edwards has released. Another vellum. And then these three are all vellum as well. So we've got bats, witch hats, and then a checkerboard print. I've been trying to keep the vellum pieces in the middle of these papers so they don't get warped, so. I also purchased this kit from Citrus Twist Kits last year, and I did not use much of it at all. Everything is still kind of in here. <clears throat> so there was some ribbons, some puffy stickers, but this is more of like a vintage Halloween vibe, which as cute as it is, is not really my vibe. So maybe that's why I didn't even open those. And then there's an ephemera pack. Like some bits and bobs here that was included. Some little hearts, a kitty, paper clip, little um, clothes pins. I had purchased this kit specifically because Tracy Reed had designed some of the papers in here and I love her designs and I wanted some physical stuff. So that's this, essentially these papers right here is what she helped design. So we've got bats. These are all one-sided too. This is definitely more of a pastel Halloween vibe. It also had a little October days, like three by eight maybe. I'm not even sure. This doesn't have inches on it. I don't know where my other ruler is. A big tag. These are just little stickers. 
and then some four by six cards. It had some little doilies and then a set of three by four cards. I purchased this one like really late in the year last year so I didn't use too much of it so these are double-sided I really love this one with the little doily on it so cute I also like this side of it Like I said, I had purchased this one really late in the year last year. Like I think it was already mid-October when I finally bit the bullet and purchased it. Um, so it's, I didn't use much of it. I think I mostly just used the alphas and numbers that came with it. Um, instead of the, and a couple of the papers, I think. The last thing that I have here, and I, I, probably won't go too into pulling every single little thing out is all of the just random embellishments that I have left over. So I have, these came in one of the kits. They just say October stories. So I've just been leaving them in my October daily album. This was part of the paper person kit from last year. These are rub-ons. And they're so cute. I actually think I purchased an extra one, which is why I have three. Or maybe I purchased two extra ones because I loved them so much because of the moths. Some of the tabs. These ones were ones that I had just pulled out from my stash that I thought would work out really well for my October daily. So I just left them with that stuff. These were the vellum big words that were in the Allie Edwards kit either last year or the year before. This was the October stories of the month last year. I really liked these and thought they would go good with my October daily. These were the numbers that I was just coloring in different colors last year. So I just left these in here because I figured I would probably want to do the same thing again for 2024. I've also got some large tags left over from one of the Allie Edwards kits. And then a big vellum, more pumpkins, please. And then these are just little tickets from the Allie Edwards kit, or no, the Studio Calico kit. In here, I'm not gonna go through this, I'm sorry, there's just too many random little small bits and bobs. I've just got Anything tiny, any embellishments, scrap papers. These are from the Allie Edwards kit, I think from two years ago. And then I've got all of my stickers. You can see that I did use one of those tags or tabs. <clears throat> so I've got those in here. And these are just all of the little embellishment bits from each of the kits. I just threw everything in here. Some of them are still even in the original like packaging just to keep it all in one spot for when I'm looking for some embellishments to use. But like I said, I'm not going to go through each and every piece of that right now um, because it's a lot. At the end of this year though, I probably will have to go through and decide if I'm going to be keeping or getting rid of some of this. I have not fully decided how I'm going to document my October daily yet this year. I really liked the size that I did last year, the um, Traveler's Notebook sized album, but I disliked that I had to use two albums. So I might just do a six by eight album this year, but still do that Traveler's Notebook size. Um, I have not purchased an album, but if I do do that, I'm probably going to use this one and just take out all of these page protectors from this particular album and then use that for my October daily um, and then I'll probably do like a little maybe some bats across the front of it um, like I said I'm just trying to use what I've got instead of purchasing a bunch of new stuff plus I'm on a couple of creative teams that I think are going to be releasing Halloween 
themed kits in October. So I will have that product to use as well. So I think I might just use this album. I just have to figure out where I'm gonna put all these page protectors to use it. All right, so I have officially decided that I will be using this album for my October Daily 2024 this year. Um, so be on the lookout for a video of me getting this album set up because I think I do wanna put like little bats around the corner right here and uh, get my cover page and everything set up. So that will be my next October Daily 2024 video is album setup and cover page. And for my documenting this year, I think I'm going to aim to have a total of 31 stories. And I use quotation marks around stories because um, if I don't have a story specifically to tell for that day, I think what I'm going to do is just use that day as like a creative spread type of day because as you saw, I have a lot of supplies and a lot of like reusable supplies like my dyes and sequins and stuff like that. So I think that for the days that I don't necessarily have a story to tell, I will just be like super creative and use up some of my supplies and make like filler pages, like creative filler pages essentially uh, for my album. So those will be coming up throughout the month of October. I will post as many videos as possible only because um, I find that with projects like October Daily and December Daily, the more that I do the project on a daily basis, the more likely I am to actually finish it like fairly quickly. So I will try to do probably a video a day, but with October Daily, I tend to do like a couple videos um, in one day and then post that video. So there will at least be weekly videos for my October Daily 2024. And then for my December Daily, I usually do those daily as well, just because with the way that my brain works and how I function, I don't know. It helps me actually finish the project um, and actually finish it, right? Like while I'm continuing to work on it, like I actually finish it if I'm doing the daily documenting instead of waiting and doing like a full week at once or something like that. So that's what you can expect from me this year. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see a video of me setting up the October Daily Craft Cart because I do think that I might be doing that. And uh, so either that will be the next video or the next video will be my album prep and cover page because we are already halfway through September and I really want to start getting myself fully set up for this project so that I can just jump right in come October. Let me know down in the comments below if you are going to be doing October Daily 2024 this year and what your plans are. I would love to hear it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.